Explainable number 4. Wonderful sayings of Amir al Momineen, peace be upon him, which require explanation. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. When girls reach the stage of realizing realities, relations on the father's side are preferable. Instead of Nasal Hikak, the combination Nasal Hakau, Yek has also been related. Nas means the last end of things or their remotest limit, such as a Nasifis say means the maximum a beast can walk. Or you say Nas as Teradula, Anil. Amri when you have questioned a man to the extreme to make him utter all he has. Thus, Nasal Hakau, Yek means prudence because it is the last limit of childhood and is the time when a child crosses childhood into majority, and this is a very eloquent reference to the point, and strange too. Amir al Momineen intends to say, when girls reach this stage, their relations on father's side have a better right than their mother, provided they are those with whom marriage is prohibited, like brothers and uncles to arrange for their marriages if they so desire, Hikak, also means the quarreling of the mother with a girl's paternal relations. This quarrel is that every one of them says he has a better right for her. That is why it is said Hakak Tohu Hak can on the lines of Jardal Tohu Jitar, Lan. It has also been said that Nasal Hikak means acquiring understanding and this is prudence, because Amir al Momineen refers to the stage when rights and duties become applicable. The person who has related the word as Hakau, Yek intends to signify the plural of Hakika, reality. The above is what Abu Ubaid al Qasim ibn Salam has stated, but I think that the intention here by the word Nasal Hakak is a girl's reaching the stage when it is possible to marry her and to allow her to dispose of her rights herself on the analogy of a camel's attaining majority, wherein hikak is the plural of hikka or hikk and it means completion of three years, of age, and entry into the fourth, which is the time when it reaches the age when it is possible to ride on its back and to exert it in walking. Hakau, yek too is the plural of hikka. Thus, both the versions point to the same meaning and this interpretation is more in keeping with the way of the Arabs than the other one stated earlier.